Hey everyone, it's Matt again with another video, and today we're going for round two between Proust Cement's Carbon Fiber Polycarbonate and Nylon X. So to explain things, kind of how we all got to where we are here, uh, I have to explain to you why I needed to do this to begin with. The reason I had to make this component from scratch is that I did not have one. I didn't have one made in metal, I didn't have one in anything at all really. I had some parts of each but nothing kind of in between. And what I mean by that is this tip here. This is considered a metric tip uh, for the uh, counter cables and things like that that I make. This is also a metric tip but it's the male end, this is the female end. And they go in like so on cable and it turns. Simple as that. No different than the 187 tangs or 104 squares. Just this one is considered the metric and it's just a blade set up like this. Now, that being said, the adapters here, I only have tips that go into here that are, you know, 187, 203, 156, 104 square, that kind of thing. And that means they're all Imperial or SAE or whatever. You, you know the you know the measurements as uh, fractions effectively it's not metric but this stuff here but this stuff here is considered metric and I just do not have tips for them so what I needed to do was create this female tip with the same tang system that will fit into the adapter and that's where we have all of this trial and error so I'll go through kind of where I got to before I start talking about the Nylon X and the Prusmet Polycarbonate. First thing I had to do was actually get the size right, orientation correct. That's what the uh, grays and blues here are all about. So with the grays and blue here, the blue is actually just basic PLA. The gray is Prusmet's Polycarbonate in gray. I tried a couple of different settings. This one is, I only went about halfway in like a draft mode. Uh, made it kind of hollow, but too spongy. It just had too much yield to it, so I couldn't, I knew I couldn't make them hollow in any, any sense. Then I stepped up with actually making something a little, you know, more complete. But it's in PLA. I know this isn't going to be final material at all. It's just not strong enough. But, you know, I used this to measure up a couple things. Uh, it was too sloppy in the, uh, in the tang here. Well, not, it's not the tang, the blade. A little too sloppy, so I knew I had to cut that down. But uh, a couple of these I actually don't have anymore. I don't know where they ended up going. But what happened was I was just mainly fitting for size in the adapters here. And they fit in no problem, but they... They had too much slop to them, so I knew I had to increase the diameter of the uh, of the shaft of the tip. Next here, I tried doing a upright orientation, but as you can see, it melted and warped everything, and that's because I didn't adjust the uh, cooling of it. So it was just perpetually putting hot material on hot material. I didn't have the time to cool off, and that's on me. I could have just as easily modified the settings, but printing it in this orientation makes it a little more brittle. Like I, I'm not going to try and break it here because I kind of want to keep it, but having something that turns like this and whatnot, I don't really want to have, you know, the break line where something turns. So as, as prettier as this would probably end up being, I can't do that either. So once I had a lot of the dimensions figured out, I actually started moving into the actual end use material just for some finer, final tweaks for the little things that each material needs and so on and so forth. So I got two here printed in the Prusament carbon fiber polycarbonate. I have one here printed in the nylon X. I still had to adjust a little bit for shrinkage and just warping of the part. Uh, again, like I had quite a bit of a time getting this it's such a small footprint for the nylon x and it, no matter how much i did it at first i'm getting into that more in a moment the back end here with a tip would always curl up 
It didn't, not a lot, but enough that when this was turning, it's going to be oblonged and wobbling around like that. And that's, I can't have that. Then I moved up with the Prue cement, carbon fiber polycarbonate. Still a bit of a, didn't really have any kind of warping issues, but I knew I had to modify this part here. The base end where the, ta where the uh, tab would actually attach kind of thing, like so. This, because I had to cut the material out like so, it was leaving a weird bevel here on the bottom end. So when I was setting up support material to actually print everything, it was creating on the bottom a lot of just unevenness, artifacting. I don't really know how else to explain it other than that. But it didn't, it wasn't very conducive to printing. So that's when I stepped up to this side and cut edges in the file, or I guess the 3D model, so that the top is flat, the bottom is flat. I still have this part on the tang, but I had improved printability like so, and I was able to keep the shaft actually flat and level. And that moves us into the final designs. This one here is the Prusmit Carbon Fiber Polycarbonate. This one here is the Nylon X. So with the Nylon X, I know I had, I've had a lot of problems in the past, and I've actually talked about this in the video. It didn't matter what I did, it didn't matter what temperatures I did, it didn't matter what kind of support material, what brims, uh, glue, it, it, I could not get this to stick. And the way I fixed this was, if I'm making just one, and I mean just one component, I have to make sure I'm setting out a brim about yay kind of thing all the way around the entire thing and that way it actually will hold down this piece here as well as a uh, I actually did not use an enclosure for to get to get this result it was purely just keeping as much contact area onto the plate as possible and it also helped that these were only about 30 minutes. I imagine if I built an entire array, this might require a an enclosure at that point, but I'm really not too sure. Mainly because I'm more going along the lines of the Persimmon carbon fiber polycarbonate. And the only reason I'm really nudging towards that is this, these are both solid. I printed these both with 100% infills uh, so that they would be completely filled. The nylon does have a little bit of give to it, which is fine. The polycarbonate is clearly more stiff. But, appearance-wise, this one does look a lot better than the Nylon X. So, taking that into consideration with the fact that this is way, way easier to print with, I am going to go with the Prusament Carbon Fiber Polycarbonate for the end use of these. Uh, being that they are made of, at the end of the day, plastic, they do have the ability to break a lot easier than the metal ones. So, but they both click in really nice into the actual tip that they will fit into so there's not an issue with that like nothing nothing's wrong with fit and size or anything of that nature it's just purely the fact at this point that this one in the Prusament is way easier to print than the nylon x and that's just inherent because nylon is way more you know it warps just way too much if it was a little bigger and thicker of a component, I imagine I wouldn't really have too much of an issue with this. I was really kind of hoping I could solve this problem for something a little more, for something to be a little more reliable, purely because I can buy Nylon X to the cows come home. That's, that's not an issue. There's no kind of supply issues with that. The Prusament Carbon Fiber Polycarbonate, however, hasn't been in stock since I last bought it. So... I don't know when they're ever going to get this back, so I'm trying to be as sparing at this as possible. But if this is the only material I can, you know, work with to get stuff to the customers, then, you know, it is what it is. I just, I just hope I don't run out of it by the time, because I really don't want to start supplying one material and then suddenly have to switch over to another that I 
will have more problems with. But, like I said, they both do work, so I guess in a pinch I could get it to work either way, because I have got the kind of little, little, little tidbits little, you know, figured out, but, you know, time will tell, of course, right? But, yeah, so these are going to be... I don't know why I'm saying these. I already know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to print in the nylon. I'm going to print in the Prismant polycarbonate carbon fiber. So yeah, going forward, I'm going to be using these like so. They stick out barely, and that's just where you kind of want these to fit. It goes in like so. Again, this will be more in a feral setup, and I don't like I don't like the metric tips at all because they just they slide in and out. I just but to be fair, you know, normally this would be held in with a cable and not in a ferrule, that kind of thing, so it isn't really a concern. But when I'm just twisting it around in my hands, you know, it, you know, doesn't really stay in place. But, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, just like so, and that'll be able to help my customer out with the uh, metrics setup that he's got going on with right now. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, as always, like and subscribe, and as always, to the next one.